So what inspired me to become an artist was visualizing myself um, becoming self-aware and more aware of nature. Um, I love to go outside and view the sky and view nature and what that brings me emotionally and going through life, it helped me like express myself better. So that's what inspired me to become an artist was basically getting my view down on paper and expressing what I was feeling and going through. So that helped me a lot and with the DCA and with my passion in the art and becoming self-aware and aware of nature, um, getting to go with the community and have the community become a part of that and sharing that with the community is what I think is really important. Uniting together as artists, getting to know other artists, um, opportunities come with that like collaborations and hanging shows and getting to know of other organizations that are involved in the community and spreading the word of art around I think is really awesome and I think that all happens at the DCA. I think that there's a lot of uncertainty and that's okay. It's all about you and your work ethic. If you believe in yourself you can go so far. It's up to you for that to make your life and whatever you do, it, it's not just the arts, it's any career you choose. It's all about what you make of it and what you decide to take on with it. An opportunity that I'm taking on um, is grant writing for funding a community sculpture in the city of Ecorse. And I have an idea and plan for doing a whole series of them actually. And I think it's gonna go really well. And that's just an example of public art and getting out there and, you know, getting the community involved into the culture of art. Self-awareness is so key, I think, in, in being an artist. I feel like you really have to explore yourself and in your mind and uh, really pinpoint what you like to talk about visually or express, like m even with music and poetry and all sorts of uh, elements of art that you can express out there. Pinpoint what you really want to say and what you want to uh, other people to experience and observe. And it's really like your thoughts are out there. So I think it's, it's just really good to be able to express yourself through art. I think that's the big thing. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you are enjoying our artist interview series and are finding inspiration in their stories. For more information on the Downriver Council for the Arts, please visit our website at www.downriverarts.org. See you next time.